Hey guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm going to be doing another LEGO customizing tutorial for you guys. With the release of Solo, a Star Wars story being next week, I figured it would be appropriate to do another Han Solo related tutorial, this time being for his belt. Now I've made three Han Solos in the past, all utilizing the same pretty much exact belt. And so I figured making the fourth one would be kind of annoying, and I'd like to show you guys actually how I go about this process. So these three belts are made out of fabric, and the one we're going to be working with today is going to be made out of e-tape. I've been getting a lot of requests to do e-tape related tutorials, so this one will be on how to make his belt. If you guys are wanting a tutorial on how to make electrical tape jackets or other accessories, just let me know and I'd gladly do those. Because I have a few figures I have to make that have uh, leathery type jackets or just smoother jackets that I'll need electrical tape for. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. So here's a majority of all of the materials you'll need to create this belt. I'm not sure if I have forgotten anything here, but if I did, then I'll be sure to clarify it as I go through the video if I'm adding any other materials. Starting off, you'll need a minifigure of some sort, preferably a Han Solo with some legs painted on him already, because after you add the belt on, it's kind of hard to paint the rest of the legs. So I recommend having that pretty much done. Uh, you'll need some silver paint. You'll need some super glue, you'll need some brown paint, I'm using Citadel Mornfang Brown. You can just use Apple Barrel or any other brand that you want, I'm just using that color because I like that. Uh, you'll also need a black, that's why I have that in that little capsule, you won't need all those colors. It's just a mix of uh, matte black and gloss black that I like using. Uh, you'll need a paintbrush, uh, probably some toothpicks just to help you with the glue. You'll need an X-Acto knife uh, if you're planning on sculpting, you also need a little like file if you want to do some sculpting as well. Um, you need your e-tape, that's a big part of this video. You'll need the e-tape, which is just electrical tape. Um, you'll need some scissors, you'll need your sculpting material, which I'm using Procreate. You probably want some tweezers just to help you with the gluing as well. You'll need some metal. Now this metal I'm using is just a cut up uh, Coke can. Uh, so I just cut off the top and cut off the bottom and just laid it flat. And so I'm just using that as metal. It's really nice and thin and it's really easy to cut. And then you'll need like just white printer paper, basically. This has been cut up a lot, uh, so you'll definitely need that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the material. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first step is a pretty crucial one. I feel like some people don't know this step actually exists when I'm making e-tape accessories for my figures. I feel like some people might just think that I'm sticking e-tape right on the figure, when in reality I'm not. What you want to just do is get your printer paper out and take a strip of e-tape a few inches long, uh, and then you just want to stick that just right on the paper. Just put it down nice and flat, make sure there's no air bubbles or anything. Just get it on there, and there you go. So that's on there, so now we can actually use the e-tape for a jacket or for accessories and it won't stick uh, so it'll be a lot easier to work with. So what you're going to do now is just cut this guy out of here. Just make sure you cut along the edge of the e-tape and just get this guy out of the sheet of paper. So we got this strip now and from this you want to cut two little more pieces. This one is just a long and narrow piece which will serve as the main belt. The length of this thing is kind of hard to describe but what it does it'll wrap from the middle of this belt all the way around the legs and back to the middle of the belt. It won't really have that much slack, but it won't be like super tight to where you can't have like any room for movement or anything like that. And it's not gonna be going around the hip piece. It'll kind of be like just a little below that. So it'll start going around the legs because Han wears his belt a little lower. And then the next strip is this curved piece here. So kind of harder to see that, kind of harder to describe the shape and hopefully this won't end up being a tutorial that is something on the subreddit rest of the ethanol or whatever that is where it's just hard to describe how to do everything but this is just a curved piece and it will go from the middle of the front of the belt to the middle of the back of the belt so what i'm going to do with these now is paint these guys brown and we'll go ahead and work on some metal while they're drying so now we're going to be cutting out the metal buckles for han's belt so if i bring this black series figure in here you can just see the buckle here so you want to cut out that shape and you want to cut out this shape as well. Again, this isn't really something I can give like really specific instructions for with measurements and everything. You guys just kind of have to do this yourself. Um, but yeah, so you need to cut those two shapes out out of the metal here. So I'm going to be using just the soda can metal and then just a little pair of scissors to cut these shapes out. Got these guys cut out. They're ridiculously small. If I hold a Brick Arms DL44 next to it, that's just how small they are. So we've got these guys all cut out. 
So let's move on to some sculpting while those things are still drying. So we've got quite a few things to sculpt for his belt, and what I'm using is I'm using a technique called dry sculpting for these. So he's got a little pouch right here. He's got the droid collar on this side of his belt. Then over here, he's got three little pouches, and then uh, that one little rod thing right there. Nothing on the back except for the one buckle. So we're just gonna be focusing on sculpting those pouches in that droid collar. So what dry sculpting is, it's just a technique where you just, you sculpt the shapes you want, or just, for me, I just sculpted a, like a flat thing of Procreate. Just took some Procreate, mixed it up, flattened it, let it dry. Then I sanded it, and I sculpted on top of that. So what I have going down here is the thing for the belt. So as you can see, it's got two layers on it right now. It's got the one really thin layer for the initial area of the pouch, and it's got the area on top of that. So from this, I'm going to be cutting out the pouches. So that way I'll get some nice crisp edges, and it'll just overall just be easier than sculpting just really little things, sculpting something big and cutting it out from that. And then for the droid collar, I just took some Procreate and rolled it up into a rod, let it dry, so now I'm going to cut that shape out from this. So from that, I cut off three of these little pouches. Now these are going to go on his, I guess, his right hip. Uh, so they're going to go along these sides. So with these three kind of like stacked up next to each other, they should be about the width of a Lego leg. I also cut out this little pouch for the front of the belt and then just cut off a little bit of that rod for the droid collar on his left hip. Now all these seem super small right now compared to this DL44, but once we start gluing them onto the belt, you guys will actually get a better sense of scale on how big to make your guys. So just stay tuned, just watch this whole video before you actually start making your belt, just so you guys know what size to make your things. I did do a kind of dark brown wash on these strips here just to make them a little darker uh, so they wouldn't really blend in with the jacket because I painted the jacket in the same color. But what we're going to do now is glue these two pieces together. What I'm basically going to do is put this on the bottom layer and we're going to glue this one on top. Uh, so we'll glue it in like a fashion like this where there will be a little gap in between these two like right here. So you do want like a little gap of space right here. Uh, so I guess you don't want to glue this on all the way up, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and glue this thing together. So we've got this glued together now. Now we're going to take this metal buckle and we're glued on right here. So you want to make the edges of uh, the buckle on this side kind of like go parallel with the belt here. So it kind of looks like it's coming out of the buckle. Uh, so we'll go ahead and glue that guy on. While we're at it, we can also go ahead and glue the other buckle onto the back right here. Now what I have here is the belt kind of looped around and glued. What I did is I just wrapped the belt around the legs I wanted to use, cut this side to the length that would make them kind of like just hold together. They're not really overlapping too much behind that buckle there. So as you can see it's only like two layers of e-tape back there. So I cut it and glued it so it is now the perfect size to fit over some Lego legs. So now we're going to go ahead and position this on the legs and we're going to put like a little bit of glue like on the edge of the hips here. Not the whole belt, just on like the very edge and then a little bit on the sides and then on the back as well. Be sure to not get the glue in the joints here or else the legs will not be able to move ever again. So just be careful when you're doing that. So the belt's all glued on now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little sliver of e-tape from the actual roll, not from the paper and I'm going to wrap it around the leg for the little strap for the holster because as you can see on this figure right here he's got this strap that wraps around his thigh so we're going to do the same thing just take the little sliver of e-tape wrap it around and then just go ahead and just paint it brown so we got that all painted up so the next thing we need to make is the holster now this can just be made out of e-tape the same strip that we use for the actual belt parts so you just got to cut it in the shape that Hans holster is actually in paint I painted it up brown first and washed it in a dark brown and then I added on a little sliver of e-tape up for the strap of the holster. Now once you have that all done, we're going to glue that to the legs here. Now it's only going to be glued to this second belt here. Don't glue it to the top one and don't glue it to the bottom one because if you glue it down here too, then the leg won't be able to move. So I got the holster on here now, so now the belt is pretty much done for the e-tape. Now we're going to go ahead and glue the pouches on. So we'll go ahead and glue the three smaller ones on the side here. And we'll glue the one up front, and then we'll probably just go ahead and glue on the droid collar as well. 
Now one thing I forgot to mention was, well I think I mentioned it earlier on, but I just forgot to actually make it, but it's this little guy right here, this kind of uh, rod capsule thing that he has on his belt. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get some Procreate that's a little thinner and round uh, like this one, but a little thinner than that and just glue that on right there. So I'll do that off camera, uh, but after that you guys can just go ahead and paint all these pouches. So for these ones you want to paint all those brown. Paint that one brown, paint this one black and silver, just like this droid collar here. So something like that. Uh, and then the tops of these guys, I think they could be silver. On the uh, black series, they're silver, but I'm going to have to take a better look. Because uh, on my A New Hope Han, I think there's something a little different. And on my, uh, actually on my uh, Empire Strikes Back Han, they look white and then one's gunmetal. So I'm going to take a look and get those proper colors figured out. And then I'll get back to you. So I've got all of the pouches painted up in the browns and the silvers. Now we're going to finish this guy up with some silver. So you're going to want to paint both of the buckles in a silver color just to get it to match. Then I'm just going to hold up one of my older Han Solos just because it'll be easier for me to describe what to do. So if I hold up my Bespin Han Solo here, you'll see that he has like the outlines of the belt right there and there painted on. And then he's got like the buckle with the two little buttons uh, painted onto that belt that drops down. You want to paint a button on the little pouch uh, on that side right there. Uh, you want to paint a little button along the strap or along the leg. And then a button on the holster strap there. Uh, now this guy isn't the most accurate for this. I'm going to hold up my Endor Han now. And uh, here he's got six buttons right here and then six buttons on this side. Again, the same thing underneath here with two more buttons and the buckle. And then one large silver button there. So let's go ahead and paint this up. All right, so we got this thing all painted up. Here's the front and then on the back right there. So let's go ahead and see how this looks on Han. All right, that looks pretty good. That's exactly what I was looking for with an E-tape belt. So hopefully you guys are able to follow along with this tutorial quite well. If you guys have any questions regarding this, please let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to answer your question. I know this thing isn't the simplest thing to make since there aren't really any clear measurements or anything like that to follow, but hopefully it worked for you guys. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Also, if you guys have any other suggestions for other E-tape accessories that you want to see me make, such as jackets, I can surely do that. Uh, or if you just have any other things you'd like to see me make on camera for you guys to follow along with so you guys can make your own, please let me know. I will always be open to these suggestions. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my solo video, which will come out next Thursday, I'm hoping. And, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, please go check out all of my other social media accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.